what did you see from that beyond sport of the transition? I think 1902. Yeah, what you yeah, you know, I, I thought that uh, you know, I, I know I said it maybe at the 12 minute timeout. Uh, if I could give a game ball at this point, to give to Trey McDonald. Trey came in. And, his activity defensively really, really ignited us. I think we went on a, a big run there. Um, and it just sort of carried over. You know, guys made, made great reads in, in terms of helping, recovering, doing the things that we needed to do. Um, you know, we, we made some mistakes, and as, as good players do, they made us pay for it. But, uh, you know, overall, I thought, especially start of second half, we were able to get some tips, get some steals, get out and score in transition, and, and that was big for us. Use the word consistency repeatedly. Um, tonight was like the antithesis of Indiana. How do you model it and take it to Iowa and take it to Northwestern? Uh, I got three days to figure it out. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I just, uh, um, you know, obviously making some shots tonight helps. Um, you know, we're all kind of ego centered in terms of seeing the ball go through the basket. And, um, but I, you know, even even when we had some stretches where we weren't scoring, I thought we kept defending pretty well. Um, but you know, it just it, it's something that you know, from this team standpoint, we you know, got a decent feel for who we are and, and know that uh, we've got to have that type of energy, that type of, of uh, you know, just juice when we're out there playing. Coach, just follow up on that. Um, Twelve and zero when you're shooting forty-nine percent or better. Two and four when you're not. The next step of this team, figure out how to win those grind out games. And, you know, I, yeah, I, I think it is because you know, obviously, with with the defense that's played in this league uh, on a night in, night out basis, you know, it, it's it's hard to shoot that high of a percentage. Um, I, I think that just from the, the the standpoint of some of those games that we, we haven't been as good in, you know, shooting has been the, the culprit in terms of. You know, not being able to get the, the, the buckets when we need them. Even, you know, Saturday, you know, we had some chances to cut into it and we, we couldn't make the shot. So, uh, you know, we'll keep shooting the basketball the best we can and, and uh, keep working it. I've asked you a couple times about the Angelo tonight. You were pretty solid. Do you get a sense of when it's going to be good? <laughs> it's kind of like the Hubs question. Yeah, yeah exactly. you know, kind of model it up. Um, now, I, I don't know. I, I, I think that, uh, you know, he's, he's a heck of a basketball player. He doesn't like it when he doesn't play well. I think you know, maybe one of the biggest things we have to challenge him when he does play well in, in terms of the next game and, and going out and, and doing the job that he needs to do. Um, because obviously we, we're, we're a better team when, when he's on. Not, not so much scoring, but just doing all the other little things. You know, The jump he made defensively from Saturday to tonight was tremendous. I mean, he, he actually had some great rotations and uh, kind of saw things uh, before they happened, and, that, and that's big for us. Coach, you had a 15 point lead at halftime, and then you scored the first 13 in the second half. Just how big was that? And was that that defense you were talking about? That kind yeah, of you know, because as, as we tried to tell our guys at halftime, um, you know, Michigan has has been, you know, in this type of situation. They came from 12 or 13 down and beat Illinois. Um, they were down, I think, 10 to, to Minnesota, came back, won the game. Villanova was kind of the, the same situation. So we you know, just said, hey, look, by no stretch is, is this game over with. Um, you know, we can't let them get comfortable. We can't let them knock down, get on a roll, and get some consecutive scores. And I thought the guys did a good job with that. Coach, from Toledo, I know lovingly in NC Sports and I, but Rudo is going in. The minutes that he gets, the role that he plays, I'm such a young guy, but what but he's able to do for you guys. Can you talk a little bit Yeah, you know, I, I, I think this Mark has, is, was telling somebody today, you look at the jump he's made from his, his freshman year to his sophomore year. I mean, he's, he's a pivotal piece of, of our puzzle, uh, just in terms of uh, you know what he brings to the table in terms of, of scoring the basketball. And I think this is his third or fourth straight game where he's had seven or more rebounds. That was something we wanted him to do. He's becoming a very you know complete player. Defensively tonight, he, he did a great job challenging shots, made great reads with, with what we were trying to do uh, defensively and, and uh, love him. Seemed like you guys were able to, uh, even though Levert was leading, scored, maybe limit the amount of action going through him. I mean, in terms of the, the game plan against their offense, where does that kind of fall? Well, you know, I, I thought Sam did a great job. I mean, 
Levert is, is a tremendous basketball player, and, and you know, he can he can get you so many different ways, and, and uh, you know they're they're very creative in terms of, of how they get the ball to him and, and how they put him in a position to score. As we told our guys, you know we're, we're not going to hold him score unless he's a great player, uh, but we got to try to make it as hard as we possibly can on him to, to score. And, and you know he still gets 14 or, or whatever he had, but. Uh, you know, I think from that perspective, uh, Sam Thompson did a heck of a job tonight. Uh, Beeline brought up the fact about the way Amir protected the rim. Is tonight a pretty good example of what the way you need him to It is, yeah. Um, you know, he was got off to a little bit of a slow start, and I had a nice talk with him uh, when he came out of the game. Uh, but from that point on, I, I thought he was, was – what we needed from him, you know, just the, the the challenge around there. I mean, uh, I think Levert hit the one where he didn't jump. Um, we got him out, talked to him. But then from that point on, he was he was very very active. And, you know, we, we found him. He moved pretty well and we found the seams in his own and, and, and scored the basketball. They talked about having energy issues tonight. Just couldn't get the energy. You get the go on. You get the idea that maybe your defense had a lot to do with that. They really did look kind of. After the first 10 minutes of the game. Yeah, you know, I, I hope it did, but. Um, that's a win win. No question about that. Um, but I, I think that's something, uh, you know, I, I don't know the stretch they've been on, but, uh, you know, trying to get your guys or trying to get our guys rest, I'm speaking on our, our half, because I, I thought we were tired Saturday uh, in our game, and, you know, we, we were a little bit light uh, and kind of shortened things up going into today's game. But uh, it's it's you know just so so pivotal, especially when you go on the road. Sam Thompson talked about motivation last night. Do you have that sense? There? Well, I, I think you know just from the standpoint of, of what a what a great day to be an Ohio State Buckeye uh, in terms of what they did last night, you know, texting with the guys during the game, and, and you know they, they know them, they're close to them. Um, you know, it just it was as I told our guys, they know we have to do our part uh, tonight and, and, and get the job done. Football definitely did their part of, uh, for the university. Anything else? All right, thanks. Just, just one ahead. thing. Um, uh, Anthony and Kata, you to play? Yeah. Kata got in at the, at the very end. Okay. Kata got a rebound. But uh, Anthony got hurt in shoot around today. Um, I, I don't know. We don't know exactly what it was. It was something like he strained something in his stomach. So we had him on reserve if we needed him. But uh, we, we did not put him in because of, uh, of that. And Kato was just Yeah, I mean, yeah, Jay Sean and, and uh, you know, was, was pretty dog on. I think we start the game. Thanks. Thanks, guys.